Right, welcome back to the Pro's Diaries. Very dramatic entrance, that one. It. Um, I've got a thought. I've got a thought. It's probably a dangerous thing for me. Um, before the season gets going, I really, really want to get good at wedges. Now, I intend to try and play a bit more. I said that last year. Didn't do it. Standard. But... I do want to play some more golf this year and one of the things when I've looked back at my golf when I you know I'm okay off the tee generally I'm pretty good with my irons my wedge play when I put myself into situations where I should be hitting it close I don't generally and I've been looking over the last few the balls coming through the roof then um, been looking over the last few days at a lot of wedge stuff I've had a couple of lessons on wedges with my dad now over the past sort of two months had two lessons and just been working on it and i've been working just on getting 50 yards nailed in to start off with me so i'm gonna do as try and do a skills test but not do a full video on it i can't be bothered with that and um, there's just this one 50 yard test i've set up on the flight scope and trying to score it's uh can't remember how many feet 30 foot circle 15 foot either side i think it is is that right don't know. I know that the middle is six foot, three foot. Yes, it's 30 foot. Yeah, 15 foot either side. The middle of it's six foot. The most points I can score is 25 points, trying to hit it to six foot and in. Average, I think, um, the other day. Here we go. Average from 40 to 60 yards for a one to five handicapper is 31.9 foot. And 77% of greens are hit. 31 feet. Mind you, not test yeah, 31 foot average. Yeah, 60 yards. So I, I want to be trying to hit from 50 yards. I want to try and put, you know, 8 out of 10 shots within, I'd say, 20 feet. You know, if I can get inside 20 foot, I can hold some putts. So I'm going to do the test now. I did it this morning. Did really well. Probably guarantee I won't do as well now. So... Let's have a look at that. as well that I almost of the mind where I should have probably put my screenshot of in me doing the test this morning and blagged those results but there's no point I got I can't remember what I scored there eight was it out of 25 I got 17 this morning so there's still work to do still work to do um not sure what I've got going on this week I know I'm teaching a lot uh got the uni coaching got that tonight I'm going to try and play golf on Monday. I released a video last night, Tuesday night, um, a playing and sort of teaching course work, and the comments on that were absolutely awesome. So thank you so much for those. And it's great to see that that sort of style is something that you guys want more of because that's where I want to see my course logs going. So if you haven't seen it, go and check it out. Also, in this one down below, comment what sort of shots you face on the golf course and what sort of shots you'd like help learning, you know. I'm going to hopefully head out and play on Monday and get some more filmed if the weather isn't biblical snow again. And just endeavour to try and get different people on, go to different courses and film these different scenarios that we all face out and, you know, a different shot every time we go out on the golf course and bring as much knowledge and hopefully help as many as you can on those. So let's, uh, let's see what we've got more so now talking really fast and also I'm going to go and shoot a few videos down on the new chipping green slash putting green got some balls oh no I've left the balls at home got the new tricks and stuff to try out all the new balls um, tight list I think they're on the way try some balls out people said I've done that before but anyway let's go and see what else I've got going on and through the rain you might be able to make out 
a horse just over there, probably don't know, it's too blurry. But, yet again it is raining, um, was meant to be out on the golf course today, just playing a quick few holes with a pal and just trying to get a few little tips and clips um, and bit shot for this video, but the rain has put a stop to that, it's been raining for about 6 or 7 hours where I am, so never mind, got stuff to do anyway. Um, I'm going to be out on the course on Monday, the weather looks a lot better then so hopefully it will stay that way and should be able to finish this video up on there and also get the next um, playing sort of teaching course vlog done that I'm really excited about shooting because the comments that you guys have been leaving, like I said earlier, have been really really positive and they just keep coming so thank you a lot for those and hopefully you can learn a lot from those videos. Just uploading a new putting video. You probably will have seen that before you actually watched this video, so let me know how you enjoyed that putting video, leave a comment down below. Um, yeah, so in fact, what we're going to do now, just to get into it, we're going to look at one of my lessons this week. Reese um, made a really, really good change to his backswing, was struggling, getting really trapped in his backswing, his left arm was really low and across his chest, was leading him to get a little bit healy. And if he did catch, you know, a good strike, he wasn't really getting as much distance as we'd like and wasn't getting the flight we would have liked to have seen. So some simple drills with a mirror, um, a football, a basket, stuff that you can do at home as well um, without even using, you know, the art of actually hitting a golf ball out on the range. It was just putting it into position really and feeling a little bit more stretching his back swing and getting his hands a lot higher has led to some great changes. So let's have a look at that video and I'll probably see you shortly on the golf course at Formby where I'll be playing golf because that's what you do on a golf course so let's get into this lesson okay Reese, this is a lesson with you down at Trafford Golf Centre and what we've got here is the start and then the right screen is a little bit of work throughout the lesson so as we worked on last time the balance you know a lot of the, the stuff you were doing was moving forward toward the golf towards the golf ball that's looking really really good now so good work on that well done what we've looked at today is a little bit of the length of your swing and what your arms are doing throughout your backswing because what we find here you're actually moving the club quite nicely and you generally move a lot of things nicely throughout the golf swing gets good here what starts to happen is your right elbow tends to tuck behind your rib cage this way a little bit so as we see you get up now it drags your left arm across your chest and restricts you a little bit so you get trapped so this now is the top of your back swing so from here this causes you to throw it forward slightly and as we see on these ones we get these low squirty shots even those when they were hit okay they were just a little bit towards the heel and a little bit too low on the face to actually get up because you're not actually hitting down on it as much as we'd like to and let it actually swing on the arc it's designed to you're throwing it forwards because of this trap sensation so what we had the feeling of starting off with you know that feeling is you can do that what we did with the football with a with a basket basically once you've emptied your baskets into the tray have the, uh, the bit where you pour them out facing where your ball would be and you were feeling that you were put the actual hole of the basket over your right shoulder with us it was the feeling of the uh, the logo looking more into the mirror or feeling that as you swung up to the top your left hand would be sitting on top of your right hand now as opposed to when we see this one here, almost that our right hand's still the palm would be over on top of the left. We want it to be opposite, feeling that the right hand would be underneath here. So what that led to us doing then was having some swings where we get you up into a position to this. So you were stopping and feeling really stretched. And that's the first one after you did those bastic drills. So that's really, really solid. A great, great improvement there. We see the left hand on top of the right. The hand's massively above the shoulder now, loads of width in there, and that one word you to describe it was taut, you know, a feeling of stretchness felt a little bit crazy at the start because you're so far up from where you were, but that's what we needed to go to. And then what we get the feeling of here at the end, one of your final swings now as we see this. This was absolutely fantastic, this one. So really good setup. Each time you'd have a rehearsal looking back into the mirror, feeling where your hands were gonna go get up to the top and that I love that position we can see now the club's a tiny bit laid off right elbow now actually um, a little bit more below the left elbow here your left arm is now matching your shoulders pretty much here as we can see as opposed to it being tucked under and then as you come through on this one it drops down pretty much the way it's come up 
in club slightly behind you, that great movement through the ball and ripped straight towards target from there. So if we're looking for higher arms, if we're looking for more stretch, it's got to be that feeling of, as you are, that tight feeling as you described it, and that drill, like I say, if you get a basket, a football, whatever it may be, your right hand, the left hand is going to sit up on top of it as you go through, but fantastic work there today. So keep on top of that, keep working, and I'll see you soon, pal. Actual sunshine. We have made it out onto a golf course. How happy are you? I can't see you because you stand right straight into the sun, yeah. yeah. I thought that yeah. didn't portray the most happiness I've ever seen. So we're down at Formby Hall, going to shoot some other videos, um, but we're going to get some shots for us out on the golf course. So excited to be on here and not to be wearing 42 layers. There's actually warmth coming from the sun today. It's unbelievable. So sit back, enjoy the rest of this video, and I'll see you at the end. Myself and Tom have had a discussion and uh, for the foreseeable future, the next probably eight to 10 weeks, every Monday has to be like this so we can get filming in because the previous Mondays have been a letdown. So whoever's in control of the weather, if you are watching, please hear this. We're not asking much. Yeah, we're not asking much. Just, just make sure it's like this. Sunny, 10 degrees, two layers on, perfect. How is that possible? Oh well. <laughs> Living! So we've played... Oh God, I don't even know how many holes yet. I'm gonna call it 12. 12 holes finished a vlog on the Playing With The Pro series. So I was giving us some, you some information on how we play different shots and why we've selected those shots out on the course. Also just done a one club challenge, which was a little bit of fun out here with myself and Tom. Make sure you uh, check that one. That should hopefully be out later this week. Um, and now I'm just gonna film some strategy videos out on the course and finish off with a few more shots. So I probably won't see you again. Not leaving, but you know, whatever. Thanks for watching this video. Remember, follow me on all my social media platforms. Go and check Tom out on uh, Instagram at Tom Fear and Golf. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you soon, or well, I'll see you next week in Pro's Diaries, episode five, I think. It's ticking along nicely. Ticking, Tom, ticking. Well, that's the only thing I think for ticking, just hand of a clock. Okay, that wasn't great. <laughs> Ha <laughs> That was the uh, get over please shot. 